Everybody sing that shit. Hey, what's up guys Alok here back with another video so in this video we will fix Sony Vegas crashing problem the Sony Vegas is very useful tool for starting your video editing and it's very great tool for new youtubers but most of them face the same problem guys like uh, this one the crashing problem so don't worry guys we will fix this problem but first of all friends before starting just subscribe my channel for latest update because most of upcoming videos is useful for you so let's start first of all go to the preferences but before clicking on the preferences just hold shift and control in your keyboard if you don't hold the shift and control button the internal option will not be appear so just do that So first of all go to the video tab and set the dynamic RAM to 0 and maximum number of rendering to 2 and GPU acceleration should be off. Now go to this option internal and type multi. The both option should be false just click and hit 0 again just click and hit 0 and enter and uh, just click on apply it will ask you to restart the sony vegas don't worry just don't worry just do that now just restart the program and after restarting the program i will share you some tips as well just open the sony vegas again guys don't worry i'm using sony vegas 13 but it will work all of you sony vegas like sony vegas 13 12 and sony vegas 11 if you're using the latest one the sony vegas 14 it will work all of your program so guys if you want to import any media to into your timeline it's very easy to track down but it's not the good way to import any media to into the Sony Vegas timeline. If you want to import, if you want to import any media into your timeline, just go to this option like this one, open, and just select your desired media and just click on open. The, this is the right way to import any media. If you guys, if you importing any heavy media, I think it would be crashed. But if you using this method, the Sony Vegas will not be crashed. And if you done everything into your timeline, then you editing and want to render, just go to render option and select the desired format. But just click on this option, customize templates. Downside of this program, you can see the encoding code this should be CPU only so just ok and now you can render anything so that is for this video guys I hope you like this video and if you found this tutorial useful please share this video and subscribe my channel bye for now see you next time